In this video we'll be solving section 4 of the SAT May 2012 uh, writing section for the SAT test. Now in this question I will show you the ways I use to get a high score and my insights into this uh, solving of the paper. So let's go ahead and uh, start off with question number 1. Because of the United States in early 1800s was a largely rural and many inventions by women of that period relate. So whenever dates are given, uh, it's usually referring to tense era. And uh, this is early 1800s, which indicate that it has to be uh, past tense. However, there is relating and it should be related so choose B and move on and nothing else fits there relates therefore doesn't doesn't fit there should be uh, every every sentence uh, there's a word used either to hint give you a hint or to uh, trick you so you have to be careful and be very skeptic about each and every single word let's move on to number two uh, if the tongue was cooled or warmed, taste buds send signals to the brains, such as sweetness. So, so when when the tongue is cooled or warm, comma, taste buds sends. When does it send? when it's cooled or when it's warmed so I'd say even here you don't say upon you can't do that out does not make sense so the best option here is answer choice B and let's go ahead and move on to third one this relative pronoun error you should be knowing familiar with when do you use when, where and things along those lines. The extraordinary success of Pla School has been. This removes this part. It's a prepositional phrase, so it doesn't really matter to me. The external, extra, extraordinary success. Uh, I ticked here. The success of Pla School has been featured on. Comma written. Uh, see, there's air. There we are. You don't put uh, comma written about it in newspaper. You do something else. Now let's go ahead and now uh, see the answer choices before we make our final judgment. Um, well, right away when I see um, option C and D, they use being, and. Um, I'm considering being is always wrong 99.99% or 97% of the time being is always wrong here we cancel that off leaving it with A and E let's go ahead and insert E and see if it makes sense the success of Blast School when featured on television and written about a newspaper is cited by leaders in education around the world Hmm. The success has been when featured hmm. this actually makes sense I suppose it's uh, a because um, here you're giving unnecessary comma slices and it says when it was featured on television and after that it was cited no it actually the same events happen at the same time so be careful about that oops let's go ahead and solve number four uncomfortable in school town school small when comma and here should be the noun who is uncomfortable so it is not uncomfortable so this goes off the list 
the uncomfortable for four hours of journey. The journey was uncomfortable for four hours. No, the four hours. Uh, no, still the same mistake. This is a modifier error, um, and you need to uh, know this. When do you use it? So I can say that from process of elimination um, I came out to option D now let's go ahead and see if it works uh, and uh, because we were uncomfortable in the school small van because we okay that's good enough. the four hour journey to our game seemed to last forever now that's correct so let's go ahead and just move on from that also, now, these types of words either contradict, um, they just contradict, wow. and there is a word called while, let me just write it here, while, oops, there is some bad handwriting. This word is used when there is no contrast in the sentence. However, uh, although in contrast to, they always bring some contradictory terms. So you have to know that, and that's a hint. Although glass painting uh, are renowned for their intense beauty, although it's renowned for their beauty, some critics complain, complain of. No, complain about, yes, complain that, that could work. So let's just try these options. Uh, fifth, six, so, okay. And it's plural, paintings about them lacking from, about them lacking from does not make sense about them complain about them having that you cannot insert having uh, like right in the middle so that goes off some critics complain that they were lacking variety hmm. they were lacking but however this does not work because this is my ing and this is past tense. We want to stay in the past. So I'm guessing D can't work. And since according to process of elimination, E has to be my answer. Let's go ahead and look at number six. Those who work late night shift find that, find that taking a nap, those, plural. Uh, if they, if you know, can work, you is not plural. When naps are taken, this goes into a passive voice tone, and um, SAT test writers don't want to use um, past tone, so keep in mind for that. Those are the things who late night should find that taking a nap before, actually to me, it strikes out that it could work. However, uh, let's try option C. Those who work with nine find that if they take, who is they? They could, if you introduce they, it'll be ambiguous pronoun. So, B, C, D can't work. And you can't just put by taking a nap. Because taking a, this is more redundant. Why do you want to make more redundant sentence? Let's put A and move on let's see how that goes maybe I'll come back to it if I want to we just take mark here after the most popular surfboard di uh, designer in the United States retired retires after many surfboard were convinced of having mm, retires I should be retired, not retiring. Tired, retired, retarded. Okay. Um, many summers. Uh, not hard. That puts in present tense. This is past, so if you want to stay 
we want to keep our tense con uh, like continuous. Let's remove were convinced. Okay, past, past. Then they would have. Okay, makes sense. Many servers were convinced of having. Ah, uh, see, this can't work. You can't just put past, past, present. It simply doesn't work like that. So answer choice D. And let's keep going. From 1988 to 1995, Umbla thrilled the world with dynamic speed skating. Okay, this is a parallelism error, and uh, with her dynamic speed skating, and with her something. So I'm guessing, since it's um, the SAT test writer gives a state, it also has to do something with the tense error. So before we make any uh, our own sentences, let's just go and look at the option. Mm. Let's read option one from with her dynamic speed skating and capture dynamic capturing no with speed skating comma which captured more ah uh, see here the pro although the sentence is all right. You cannot use more for more than two things, such as more medals than any other United States woman in history. Most, it should be most. And here, whereas when it's most, the sentence is clutched up using she captured. It's redundant. Um, okay, let's see. Number D thrilled the world with her dynamic speed skating and captured more uh, captured more works here capture the most hmm. any other woman hmm. I think it's safe to put my bet on D again. Uh, it's scary to have how many two of these. Well, that's possible. I'm not saying it's impossible. But let's just go ahead and move on. More sounds much better. But that sentence had kind of weird option B. Hmm. So therefore, I picked a D and moved on. Okay, let's so let's start with number nine. Oscar uh, differed from most other African American silent film directors. E is not it. Mm. In his films, they who are they? You can't just introduce they. Who is he? In his films. Well, he is supposed to uh, refer to Oscar Bla, this guy's name. But uh, again, according to the rule of modifier, um, noun should come right after comma, and it doesn't, therefore. Um, that's not correct. And why do we have a semicolon here? That just, it's not even a complete sentence, not even a complete thought. So I'm going to cut out D, Simon C. So the answer I'm left with is D again. Three in a row. Um, well, process of, el process of elimination can't be wrong, therefore. Let's put my bet on that. Okay. The first Mexican to receive the Nobel Prize in Chemistry. Who is that? Demonstrating. Demonstrating with the first Mexican. No. To Mario. Okay. Earned this award by demonstrating. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, makes sense. 
I'll pick this and move on, but a positive, why do you want to put a pos demonstrate it? Positive again. Well, too many commas. So I can say, uh, it's safe to say there is a comma splicer. I received the Nobel Prize in Chemistry. Okay, it's reverting the sentence and we don't want to do that because we want to keep main things. So, in short, I don't think there is an option better than B. So, I'm, gonna pick, I'm going to pick P and move on. Okay, finally an easy one. Small sentence. Sam's photographs of national forests. Photographs. I'm gonna cut this prepositional phrase. Photographs are poor. Express, not cis. Express, no, no, it's so that, that, the silly mistakes that I'm supposed to make, I just cancel them off. It could be A, C, and E, so let's go ahead and take a look on it. Photographs accept, express a deep interest, and, okay. So it's missing a prepositional word here. Should be like express a deep interest in of something. That express. Uh, why do we put that for no reason? Here, C makes sense. So I'm going to circle B and move on. Yeah, error IDs. The process known as thermal vision. Conversion is the process is okay makes sense cancel that cancel that Advantageous because it not only breaks down Not only but also so answer choice D. This are relatively very easy The lecture we were required to attend was delivered so poorly adverb error Across the planet's apparently smooth surface. Hmm. Across the planet's apparently smooth surface ran off. Okay, C, answer choice C. It's supposed to be a tense error. Planet's apparently smooth surface ran a faint. Now it's kind of, um, you have to revert it and find out. That it's a tense error, but it just jumped out to me. So I'm going to select C and move on. Visitors are quick to notice. Quick to, quick to, okay, quick to notice a main building of critically acclaimed building of the critically acclaimed Denver Museum. Consisting or consist of. Why do they throw in IMGs? Tom Edison tries. Okay, makes sense. Tries to gain success. Wait. Although this is um, correct as far as noun and pronouns are concerned, but this sentence, gain access to his invention, is a tense, so it's supposed to be tried. Oh, I see. Let me just remove that. Put this here because D is not it. It's A. How silly. It's supposed to be a tensor. And here, let me just give you a replacement really quick. Tried. The oldest example of alphabetic writing discovered examples cancel the preposition samples are make sense almost all positive but because examples are they is correct written okay see see what I mean here um, plural here singular why do you do that you can just change that. Alright. 
Wow, we hadn't have, didn't have any ease. So I'm placing my bet on 18. Or it could be 20. So I was this two cushion. Never at 19. Alright, but okay, let's move on. The city now surrounds the medieval walled and castles to ordinary and close protect it. It refers to this thing. Which is good because it's singular. So I'm safe to say, yeah, I don't find anything that jumps out. Although if I see something, I'll just go and look back. I'll keep this question in my mind, promise. A uh, brand name first appeared on the outside of clothing 1936. Wow, 1936, where or when this is relative pronoun error. And let me just go ahead and circle B because that's a big fat error. Hmm. Ants, butterflies, and bees first appeared as tense during the Cretaceous period. Okay, if I pronounce that wrong, my bad. Let me just circle that. I don't need it. So, first appearing blah period. I don't need to know what period. The more recent. Okay, three people, guys. Come on. Three people. Here. Yeah. Three. It should be most recent. If there were two ants and butterflies, more would work. But since there are three. I'm safe to say it's B. Execute, executively fashion gold objects unearthed in objects. Hmm. <laughs> Subject word agreement error. Objects suggest, not suggests. Answer choice. Well, answer choice C. Move on. Ray on the target. In the course of writing. In the course of writing. The guide of sketches several club members. Not in their 80s. Members are. Makes sense. According childhood memories. Recording and describing. Oops, makes sense. Parallelism is correct. This makes sense as well. Answer choice E. Now we circle two no errors. So I must keep in mind. There's two more to go. The bald eagle was once on once tethering on the brink of extinction. Singular, plural, come on. B, subject word agreement error. Subject oh, pronoun error here. Yeah, pronoun error, not agree, um, verb. Pronoun error. Most climatologists agree that. Hmm, I just agree that global warming is caused from caused by this is this um this area is quite funny. It's called dictionary and even though there's a being here I would have selected D if I never knew it was caused by something, not from so you can't say uh, this thing caused from this this thing you should say this thing caused by whatever that is so it's B and like I said it being and if you don't know this go ahead and circle D because um, being is 97% wrong 
just that 3% it could be right so here I know the dictions um, I can sh there's like bunch of diction online there you find the worksheet just memorize them like I did and it could save you one point twenty five caricature in art literature hmm caricature this singular I don't care what happens here because there's this prepositional phrase involves more twenty six She wrote for teenagers after her attempts young practicologists with their terms. This is going from plural to singular. Does not make sense. So answer choice D would be the right answer. Within a few weeks of leaving home, who left home? I. I, okay. I left home. I was working in the New York City where, okay, makes sense. Good breath. Relative pronoun error. Um, there no. So where works is correct. Where the voice is louder and the opportunity is greater. Ah, uh, this comparison error. So it's talking about opportunities in New York versus Montreal. You cannot compare that. You have to compare opportunities in New York than that of, or no then those of Montreal so should be then those of uh, let's go ahead and look at 28 and 29 <coughs> okay so four years let's introduce her on where appeared why do you want to put what in the middle for years around 1295 however makes sense archaeologists have uncovered that appears to be path yeah something you can now uh, if you can't sometimes I can't I can just say this is wrong without giving um, coming to a better conclusion but all I can say is that SAT test writers can come out with better wordings than what appears to be that's wrong this is uh, sometimes either it's one of the errors or I just mix it up with awkward error it's a bit awkward endowed with powerful bodies large claws and peers the most hmm, are one of the most lines are one hmm, until two piercing one and dotted with one no I don't think so are one of Yep, I think, although we have two more E's remaining, I think C is the right answer. And sometimes you won't have all four E's, like all four no errors. Now let me just go ahead, pause the video and uh, check these questions out, see how I did. So after checking, uh, it was fascinating to know that I got all of them correct even this one this two is where I feared the most because they were um, they are the two hardest ones hard ones at the end of the section but it turns out I, I didn't miss even single cushion wow quite amazing so please subscribe hope you enjoyed the video and thank you for watching